Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. My name is Sandra, if you have not been here before. And today we're filming a Get Ready With Me. It's going to be fairly quick. I am going to delete the parts of the video where I do my eyebrows, my mascara, and applying and blending in my foundation and concealer, only to make this video a little bit shorter. So, first, I've already moisturized my skin, so I'm ready for my primer. I want a little bit of a glow, so I'm using this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I have noticed a lot of my products are running out. So I do have some backups. So I'm going to have to go through, for instance, my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel is all gone. And my mascaras are drying out, and some of my setting sprays are all empty, so... I'm not sure if I should film that as a video for you guys or if I should just do that on my own time because that might be a little bit boring. All right. I like this one. It gives me a little bit of glow. I know I said I wasn't a fan of glow products, but they have their uses and they've got their times when they're appropriate. Okay, so today for foundation, I'm using a little bit of a different foundation than I normally use. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is a recent purchase, so I have used it once and it works well. It's got a pump, which is awesome. I'm going to put it on my damp makeup sponge, but I'm not going to use that much today. <laughs> I did one video where I put way too much and it took forever to blend out. Okay, so here's where I'm going to cut it off and I will get back to you and show you which concealer I'm going to use today. Foundation done. You can kind of see it looks a little bit glowy and it could be from the primer I applied. It could be the foundation because it is a fresh wear foundation. So I'm just going to attribute a little bit of that to both of those products. So this is the second time I'm using this product. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter concealer in the shade 145. It's really, really light. And when I did my uh, beauty haul, my, my very first official beauty haul, I did not, um, I think I said I used it already, and I did not like how it blended out. Like this part, the application part is amazing. So it's got like a little doe foot applicator. And you just kind of put it wherever you would normally put your concealer. And I probably, I'm still going to go ahead and highlight the areas of my face. I'm just kind of worried how it's going to work here. But remember the last time I did use a brush. And I did not like that at all. So we're going to use the sponge today and see what happens. So far, not bad. I think the part where I'm worried about is under the eyes and having it crease. So for an actual highlighting part of the concealer, I'm fully on board with that. Like it works really, really well so far. Okay, I'm gonna continue blending this out. I'll get back to you and let you know what the eyes look like after we're done. Okay, we're back. So I have blended out the concealer. The coverage looks okay, but there's still a little bit of darkness under my eyes, so I'm not completely 100% happy with that. And if you look really close, I don't know if you can see, but it is creasing a tiny bit, but not bad. I mean, any concealer you'd expect it to crease before you put on your powder. I'm going to apply my powder with my sponge, so I'm just going to tap out my creases before I do that. Just mostly on my eyes, maybe on my forehead. And I'm going to go right in with my sponge and apply my Cody Airspun Loose Powder. I really like the application with the sponge. Okay. And I'm not really going to bake. I still need to tell you guys what that means. For those of you who are not familiar with all of the different makeup applications out there. So I guess we can kind of discuss that right now. So basically, baking is 
After you've applied your foundation and your concealer, you apply powder to the area and you let the powder sit for, I think it's about five minutes, five to 10 minutes. And basically your skin heats up under the powder. I don't know exactly how hot it gets, but the powder acts as a barrier. So the makeup underneath the powder hardens and it cakes kind of exactly like baking. And that's why it's called baking. And then it really sets it and makes it last all night. So on those days that you're going out and you want, you're going out to a party or an event and you want your makeup to last for a long time, baking is the way to go. So literally you just let the powder set on top and you put a lot of powder on and then you swipe it off after about five, 10 minutes and then you've, you've baked. <laughs> Simple as that. I think I tried it once and I think it was okay. It's the same as really setting your face. It's not really anything different. You just put a lot of powder on. But for a daytime look, running errands or whatnot, it's not really necessary to let it sit that long because this look won't be on for that long. Okay, so I've applied the powder. My eyes look really... I don't know, they look old to me. It looks like I've gained like 15 years. Well, I'm gonna take my powder brush, the one I normally go in with, my Sigma Large Powder F20, and I'm just going to set the rest of my face and kind of sweep away any excess powder from under my eyes and see what it looks like at that point. I'm not sold on that Fenty concealer. I thought it was gonna be great. I'm a sucker for concealer and at first um, when I first started getting like Tarte concealer I heard a lot of reviews about the Tarte Shave Tape and then I realized you can't buy it in Canada there's nowhere that you can get it from here so I made the mistake of ordering from Ulta from the States it's like a I guess a higher brand name drugstore kind of like how shoppers is starting to become and I ordered it so you pay duty duties on it because it is from the states and you pay USD so it's really really pricey and um, then I came across the Tarte website which I didn't even think to order from you also pay USD but they show you Canadian prices if you put your settings that you're from Canada and it's actually a lot cheaper because you can get free shipping so you don't have to pay um, duties on it or anything like that and it's just a little bit cheaper. So the Tarte Shape Tape you can order from there, but I think the first concealer from Tarte that I tried was this, the Under Eye Creaseless Concealer, and I absolutely hated it. It was sticky, it was drying. I would not recommend that concealer. Some people love it, but I was not one of those people. So I'm just taking my F06 Powder Sweep Brush, I'm just going to sweep under the eyes a little bit just to see if that helps. Yeah, I did not like how this powder reacted with this concealer. I don't think I like the concealer at all. You guys can try it out for yourself, but I am not a fan. I mean, maybe I can try it out with the Fenty powder, like the, the she has this, um, I think it's the banana powder and it looks close to my skin color so maybe I'll try that but yeah I didn't like how this applied. I'm a little disappointed because it's not cheap. It's still I think it retails for $32 for that concealer. So okay moving on. So I'm going to attack my brows again. I'm going to cut this video part off and I'll come back when they're done. Okay all done with the brows. So I went in with this Maybelline Total Temptation uh, Brow Definer and this is the shade 305 Soft Brown and I used my Great Lash uh, Clear Brow Gel. So I just wanted to say that <laughs> it's no longer clear. It's really cloudy and gross. Um, that's just from the product of the color getting into the clear brow gel. So if you have this stuff and you notice that, um, it also means bacteria buildup. So you want to replace this, I'd say every, if you use it all the time, I'd say every couple of months. Um, it, same expiry date as mascara, generally about three months, you throw it out and get a new one. But 
because I use it and I put the brush back in and it gets kind of murky and dirty, I would get a new one. So, okay, eyebrows are done. Under eyes, I'm still not happy with. Um, I think I'm going to be returning that concealer. I do not like it at all. So, anyway, that's just to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to use a different contouring palette today. So I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette for face. So I haven't really used this much. I have used it, but this is what it looks like. So the top shades are used for brightening. Um, this is your banana powder color. And then there's a variation of different shades at the bottom for contour. So this is more of a neutral. This is more of a warm tone. And then this is a darker for either darker skin tones or if you really want like a sharp dark contour. So I'm going in with my Sigma F50 dual fiber brush that I use for contouring and I'm going to pick the warm shade for now. I usually stick with the neutral but we'll do a little bit of a warm contour. See what it looks like. The powder in this formula blends out well. I still find that the Park Ave, Tarte Park Ave Princess is my favorite, but I'll have to open my new one soon that I have because I'm really devastated that the colors in there, like I, I dropped it. It was in my makeup bag when I was visiting my son's grandparents and the whole makeup bag dropped and that one broke and my Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light Eye Palette broke, so I'm just a little bit sad. I mean, when you pay a little bit more for um, higher priced palettes, it's never a good idea to drop them, especially a couple of days after you first buy them. So be careful with your makeup, you guys. Okay, so this is the warm tone. It just gives a little warmth to the face. I'm not going to do a dramatic contour today because I'm running errands and going to a movie. Um, I should mention that it's my son's fifth birthday today, so that's exciting. We already celebrated his party on the weekend so everybody could make it, but um, today's his actual birthday. So try to explain to a five-year-old that, you know, it's your birthday today, but you actually don't get any presents. We were trying to make it more of a family day where we could spend time with him and Try to teach him that it's not always about getting things, it's about showing love and spending time with one another. But it's hard because a five-year-old just wants toys. They don't care about the time spent. I don't think you appreciate that kind of thing until you get older. Okay, so warming up the temples and the forehead. Underneath the lip, underneath the jawline. And then I am going to use a blush palette. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Make Every Moment Count blush palette. It smells so good. It's not really chocolate. It's kind of like a vanilla, vanilla-y, cakey chocolate smell. Um, but it says Live, Learn, Love. So I think we'll go in with a mix of the top two shades today. So I'm just taking my F10 Powder Blush Brush by Sigma swirling it in both the colors, tapping off the brush, giving a little smile so you find the apples of your cheeks, and delicately blushing them. Today I'm not using, I know I've already done this look, I've done a look where I have had no shadow on my eyes, but I want, I want to kind of draw attention away from my under eye, like this looks terrible. I'm going to try to spray some setting spray on it just to see if it blends in better. But I'm going to draw attention away from the under eye and I'm going to line the upper eye with a liquid, a bright liquid color. You'll see in a minute. And I use this look when I don't want to apply shadow. And it's actually quite a quick look. And it's gorgeous. I mean, if you're into colored liner, I am obsessed with colored liner. And I actually just use Wet n Wild. It's the best one. They used to have this amazing, amazing like bright green color and that was my favorite but they discontinued it. So now I'm so upset. It was discontinued a couple of years ago I think. 
Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, I'm actually going into this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. This is like my favorite thing. It gives your whole face a little bit of glow and just looks like that. So I'm actually gonna go in with another large powder brush. I usually use the F20 for um, applying my, my face powder, my setting powder, but this is the F30. So the brush is a little bit longer and the actual um, bristles, it's not as poofy. They look the same right here, but I guess it kind of looks the same, but there, I can see in real life that it's a little less poofy. So I'm just gonna dab it in the ambient lighting powder and apply it through my cheeks, on my nose, my forehead, and it gives you a little bit of an extra glow. And it's really pretty. I'm still kind of thinking what I'm gonna do for summer, like for summer looks, because I can't imagine sitting out in the yard or playing ball with my son or, you know, water balloons or stuff like that with a full face of makeup. So. We're going to play around. I'm looking at the Sephora website recently just to trying to see what new products they have and I'm going to try some cream formulas. Um, in my experience cream formulas just melt right off but we're going to try and see. All we can do is experiment. So we're going to add some highlight just to specific areas of the face. This is the Mary Lou Mainizer aka the Luminizer by The Balm. So I'm taking my F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush by Sigma, dabbing it in the highlighter, and I'm not going to put any on my forehead. I might put some right here. That's it. Usually um, it, it's applied here, but I don't like that look today. I'm just going to apply some of my cheekbones, some on the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, my Cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin and that's it we're not going to go crazy today with highlighter but the other thing we will do is apply some to the lid just a light sweeping of it to brighten it up this isn't really like a shadow application but just to give the eye a little bit of glow because you'll see when we add the liner that the liner kind of focuses on the eyes okay next so we blushed, we've highlighted, and now I think we're going to do the liner. So this is the shade. Look how electric blue that is, it's gorgeous. The Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and the shade is 873A Voltage Blue. And I just purchased it at my local Walmart. But now that I've mentioned the green color, I know they've been discontinued, but I am gonna try to find it. I mean, maybe you could find it on Amazon. I wouldn't want someone's old gross eyeliner. Hopefully it would be brand new. I just don't know if it's sold anymore. I'm just so, so, so disappointed. I should write them a letter and say, hey, you need to get that color back. I'll buy hundreds of them. And these last really long too. You can get them in black. I have it in black and I've got it in purple. Um, the purple doesn't really show up as vividly as the blue or green did. And they last a long time. I think I've had this for like maybe close to two years. And I talk about expiry dates. Maybe this one's already expired. Okay, so as you can see, all the attention on the eyes. And I'm... I love a colored liner. I used to have this sparkly khaki color and then Sephora discontinued that one too which I'm also sad about. It was a bit more of a neutral color but it still paid a lot of attention to the eyes. So I think that's it before we get into the mascara. So again I'll do the mascara off camera but I'm just going to go ahead and do the lip while you're on while I'm here with you guys. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. It's kind of like this rose sparkly colored, but it looks very neutral on the lip. It's a huge doful applicator. Very neutral, very pretty. And it smells like fruit. It 
And I know she has a new one on the market and it's like this light pink color. And they're actually really cheap for, you know, an expensive brand lip gloss. They're only $23, so it's highly affordable. And as long as you don't use it every day, it lasts for a long time. Good. See, very neutral, very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go and do my mascara. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. We're back. So eyes are now done and you can kind of see how the blue liner takes focus away from the under eye so that's good so one thing i forgot to mention is i quickly sprayed my face with my mac fix plus prep and prime fix plus and this is this lavender scent and i did that quickly before i applied my mascara so my mascara wouldn't run and then i added a little bit of the highlight this guy here or should I say gel, to the inner corners just to give it that brightening effect. And that is it. That is the completed look, you guys. So let me know what you liked about this video, what you'd like to see for next time. And please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And you can also hit that bell down below just to get notified every time I post a new video. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care.